Today's daily dose of math is about cluster sampling. This is just one of the methods that we can use to get information from a sample group when we are doing a sample survey. Here I have three situations involving a rugby league, an artisan school, and a grocery store. And for each, we are being asked to give an example of cluster sampling. Now, the reason that I made this video is because students, when they see a question like this, have a disturbing habit of giving a beautiful definition of cluster sampling, which is very nice. And this definition is actually pretty good definition. But the problem is that the question is not asking for a definition. It is clearly asking for an example. So it means that we need to talk about how cluster sampling would be done with this situation involving the rugby league or with this situation involving the artisan school. And a definition is not worth any marks, even if it is a correct definition. So for our rugby league, how would we do cluster sampling in this situation? There are 12 teams, each team has 23 players, and the survey is about choosing a new logo for the league. Well, what we do with cluster sampling is, let's say we decide to choose four of the teams, and we'll ask every player on those teams which logo they like best. That way the teams are our clusters. Here we have an example of cluster sampling applied to the situation. The Artisan School has 22 classes with 18 students in each class, and they are doing a survey to choose a project for next year. So let's say we choose six of the classes and we ask every student in those six classes which project they prefer. That way the classes are our clusters. It might be really obvious that with the rugby league, the teams would be clusters and with the artisan school, the classes would be clusters. So let's look at our third example, the grocery store. It has 1,500 customers per day. There are 10 cash register aisles and we want to know what the customers think of our vegetable quality. Well, these customers aren't divided into groups the way teams in a league are or classes in a school, but we can still find a way to make clusters out of this. How about we choose three of the cash register aisles and we ask every customer who passes through those three aisles what they think of our veggies. That way the aisles are helping us to provide the clusters we need for cluster sampling. This is how we give an example of cluster sampling within a situation instead of giving a definition of cluster sampling which was not asked for. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.